The overall goal of this procedure is to collect tick hemolymph, salivary glands, and saliva from actively feeding Ixodes scapularis ticks. This is accomplished by first amputating the tick's leg at the distal joint to expel hemolymph. Next, salivary glands are collected by dissecting the tick in phosphate buffered saline, locating the salivary glands and transferring them into a clean pool of PBS. Saliva is collected by applying pilocarpine onto the tick's dorsum with a micropipette, inserting the tick's hypostome into a pulled capillary tube and allowing the tick to salivate into the tube. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show microorganisms present in the hemolymph or salivary glands via immunofluorescence or protein-protein interactions with salivary proteins, among other results. Generally, individuals new to hemolymph collection will struggle because it is difficult to immobilize the tick without rupturing the midgut, thereby contaminating the hemolymph. Generally, individuals may struggle with saliva collection because not all ticks will salivate. Therefore, it is important to attempt saliva collection from ticks that are at or near repletion. Generally, individuals new to salivary gland collection will struggle because the salivary glands are difficult to locate amongst the tick debris. And once located, the salivary glands are easily ruptured and lost during the wash.